Hi, Tech Rabbit here. So we could have a look at how to um, convert alternating current into direct current using some simple diodes. Let's get into it. So oh, here's the first circuit to look at, and this is the simplest one. So you have one diode and then a resistive load and fed from an AC power supply, 12 volts. So let's um, put the power supply on and see what happens. So here we see the incoming um, voltage. And um, here we see what the diode does to the voltage. So basically it's, yeah, you can't really call that direct current, you can call it um, positive voltage <laughs> of some kind. Uh, I mean, this is, you know, yeah. Some kind of DC as the some um, it could be used to power um, simpler circuits that are not electronics, you know, like fans and, and, and switches and all those other types of things that produce that. But it's not the ultimate um, solution. So this is called half half wave rectification. So it basically just chops off the bottom half, um, and that's the most simplest. Um, yeah simplest way to get to uh, yeah, the first starting point for DC. Well, let's have a look at some other solutions also. So, let's have a look at a configuration using um, four diodes. So this will implement full wave rectification. So, let's have a look and see what that looks like. So, let's put on the power and see what happens. And as you see, now we have it's rectifying, and basically this four diode configuration, what it does is it flops the minus side of the um, uh, voltage to the plus side. So now we're having, we have um, zero reference there, so. but it's still a pretty bumpy road. Now I just want to throw in a cheat bit here, so you know, if, you, if you need full wave um, rectification, then it's actually much better to use one of these pre-built packages. So this this has the four diodes in it, plus it's usually like, oh they are rated for, um, uh, you can you can get these like 10 amps and various various different capacities. And then the thing is you can bolt this to a heat sink also, so they can handle quite high power. But anyway, for illustration purposes I just made um, to show that you can actually make a um, full wave rectification using separate diodes. So, what I did is I put in a 1000 microfarad uh, capacitor there, and then let's see what happens to the voltage now. So, as you see, I have a load on it, so I have um, a 100 ohm um, resistive load on it. So, so you can see that, aha, uh -huh, that's uh, significantly improved, so the um, ripple is a lot, a lot smaller than what you saw before. So. Uh, the, the ripple can be controlled with a uh, different size capacitor. Now I'll add in the comments uh, some um, formulas related to this. Um, the, there will be the formula on a suggested capacitor size based on the load and ripple that you'd like to see. And then um, also this has an impact on um, uh, the loading of the transformer. So then I'll just throw in a guideline for that also. So if you use the AC power supply in the um, center entry configuration and use the center entry as a ground reference then you can actually bring out um, plus minus voltage so then each, each with its own capacitor. So here we see we get um, plus voltage and the other side we get a minus voltage. That's sometimes useful for various circuits. Hey, I hope you found this informative. Um, please consider subscribing. Uh, hit the like button. Uh, merch is available. Or if you'd just like to buy me a cup of coffee, that's uh, links in the description. All the proceeds will go in to um, support the channel and the projects on the channel. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.